Hello and welcome to a new lesson, Definition and Characteristics of Articulatory Phonetics. Let's discuss about the topic. First, we discuss about definition of articulatory phonetics. This type of phonetics looks at how we physically produce speech sounds. It explores the movements of our vocal organs like tongue, lips, and vocal cords to create different sounds. That's very much clear. No need to explain and repeat the idea. We move on to the next step. That is aspects of articulatory phonetics or what we call characteristics of articulatory phonetics. The first is focus on production. Second one is physiological basis. Third one is classification by articulation. And fourth one is transformation of energy. They are the most important characteristics or what we call aspects of articulatory phonetics. Now let's discuss each one of them in detail. And the first one is focus on production. Articulatory phonetics focuses on production of a speech. When we say production of a speech, in other words, we can say all the mechanisms that are in effect to produce a sound that help you speak, that help you make an utterance. We have the next idea. It examines the movements and positioning of the articulators. And when we say positioning of the articulators, this refers to the organs of a speech, such as the tongue, lips, jaw, and vocal cords to create different sounds. To the next physiological basis, it's concerned with the anatomy and physiology of the vocal tract. Two words are very important. The first one is anatomy. And as you know, anatomy is the study of the structure of living organisms, human beings, animals, or plants. Here we are concerned and talking about anatomy of the vocal tract. And then we talk about physiology of the vocal tract. Physiology is a branch of science in which we discuss about functions of living organisms and their parts. So this branch of a study deals concerned with the anatomy and physiology of the vocal tract. And how these structures, how these what we call anatomy and physiology of the vocal tract interact to shape the airflow into a specific speech sounds. So the anatomy and physiology of the vocal tract in the way they interact to shape the airflow help us produce a particular speech sound. That is the point here. Now we move on to the next. That is the third classification by articulation. This branch of Articulatory phonetics, I mean to say, aims to classify speech sounds, aims to categorize speech sounds, to put speech sounds into different categories or classifications. It is based on how and where in the vocal tract they are produced. And it is on this basis we put the classification of speech sounds. We move on to the next, that is to say, the fourth one, transformation of energy. Let's see what's this about. Articulatory phonetics can also be seen as the study of how aerodynamic energy, what we call airflow, is transformed, is changed, is brought into what we call acoustic energy, in other words, sound waves, through the actions of the articulators. That is the point here. So transformation of energy is all about how air flow from your mouth transforms, changes into sound waves that travel to the receiver or listener when you produce a particular sound or when you speak or when you communicate. This is also very important in articulatory speech. Now let's talk about conclusion. In simpler terms, when we speak, what happens is that we manipulate the air coming from our lungs 
using various parts of our mouth and throat, what we call organs of a speech. Articulatory phonetics investigates precisely what those manipulations are, what those connections of organs of a speech are for each and every speech sound. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you and goodbye.